let's talk about the atmosphere. Now you know what happens is, let's say if uh, this were Earth, right, and this is Sun. What we talk about was lithosphere and hydrosphere. Atmosphere is basically the air which is outside the Earth or let's say for example we can say that the Earth is surrounded by air okay up to a distance of 1600 kilometers and this layer of gases which is there is known as the atmosphere right the atmosphere is important because it provides us with the air okay that we breathe and basically if I talk about air that is nitrogen oxygen and then carbon dioxide argon and some of the other air are available I'll talk about this a little later but this air helps survival of life on earth and it also protects us from the harmful rays or the harmful effect that the sun rays may cost so the atmosphere is basically this layer which is around us okay now coming to what it is comprised of it basically comprises of nitrogen okay oxygen both of them actually together form around 99 percent of the total composition of the atmosphere nitrogen is around 78 percent oxygen is around 21 percent and the balance one percent is in the form of carbon dioxide, argon and some of the other gases. The use, obviously oxygen we all know, we breathe oxygen and that's how we live, right? If oxygen is not there, we will all die. Nitrogen basically helping in the growth of various organisms. Okay, carbon dioxide basically absorbs the heat which is radiated by earth okay so whatever heat flows from earth here that is absorbed by carbon dioxide and it doesn't allows it to escape and therefore help in keeping the planet warm right now when we talk about this entire 1600 kilometer the density of earth is actually not the same the density of air actually I should call not density of earth is not the same so if we talk about the 1600 kilometers as something like, you know, this, then the density is more towards the land part of the earth, and as you move up, the density decreases. Have you heard that, you know, people who go for mountaineering, let's say a Mount Everest and everywhere, what they do is they carry oxygen cylinders with them, because why? Because the concentration of air at higher levels is low. Now the 1600 kilometer of atmospheric layer that I spoke about is basically divided into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And if I talk about them starting from Earth, the first one is what is called the troposphere. Right? Then you have the stratosphere. Then you have the mesosphere. Right? And then you have the thermo sphere. Actually, mesosphere. Right? Thermosphere. And the last one is the exosphere. The density of air at all these levels is different. The density of air at all these levels is different. The composition in terms of, you know, how much of oxygen is present at each of these levels is different. The temperature is different, okay? So all these things are different at all these different levels when you talk about as a part of the atmosphere. I hope you had a good time understanding this video. Thank you for being with us today.